Xpeng shows off a minivan that's also an aircraft carrier and a supercar that's also a quadcopter. Xpeng has revealed a flying car that actually looks like a car, and, if that doesn't work, a van with a drone inside that could help search and rescue organizations. The future of electric vertical takeoff and landing, EVTOL, vehicles holds a lot of Jetsons-like promise, but so far not many companies have introduced a flying car that actually looks like a car. But Xpeng Aero HT has unveiled a pair of concepts that look like they're taken straight from the pages of a sci-fi comic, adding a futuristic touch to the EVTOL environment. Making a grand entrance at Xpeng Technology Day, the company's flying car concept might initially be mistaken for a supercar with sleek but slightly odd proportions. However, the intriguing reason behind its unusually extended rear end becomes much clearer when it smoothly transitions into flight mode. From the back, four arms emerge and extend, holding eight propellers that turn the car into a flying vehicle with the press of a button. You won't be surprised to hear that this futuristic prototype is light on details, but the company is working on ways to store accessories without damaging them. The concept also features a steering wheel that is hidden to give the driver better access to the joystick while flying. Xpeng Aero HT said it expects its first flying car to tip the scales at 2,204 pounds, 1,000 kilograms, and prices are expected to start at 1 million Chinese yuan, $136,666 at the current exchange rate, Car News China reported. The company has also said it will launch its first flying car in 2024, but it's unclear whether it can actually achieve that goal. It is looking at other flying vehicle solutions, such as the modular flying car, to speed up development. Instead of trying to make an EVTOL that also works as a car, the company decided to make an EVTOL small enough to fit inside a van. The minibus, which has the capacity to carry up to five passengers, is called the mother ship. It has three axles, each of which can be driven by electric motors. However, Xpeng Aero HT envisions it as an extended range EV, this means it has an internal combustion engine that will produce power for both its own needs and the needs of the EVTOL. The flying part of the vehicle is large enough for up to two passengers and can be flown by a pilot or its own autonomous systems. It also has a 270-degree field of view from its cockpit, offering spectacular views and plenty of visibility. While Xpeng is certainly open to selling the aircraft carrier to private consumers, it says it could also be useful for emergency rescue services. And it's not hard to imagine how useful such a vehicle could really be in a search and rescue mission. It's not yet clear when any of these tools, or their subsequent developments, will be available to the public. But Xpeng says civil authorities in China are working to find safe ways to use these technologies safely. Similar studies are being carried out in the USA.